Welcome back to Destiny, my friends. This is part 3 of my walkthrough. We are about to start the third mission of the game, of the main story, uh, The Dark Within. As usual, I will be playing on hard difficulty, uh, since normal just isn't good enough. Uh, I will let you know beforehand, uh, before I start, that I uh, played this mission once already. Uh, to make sure that I found all of the dead ghosts and uh, gold loot chests and so on. Um, so that's why I'm level 4 right now. And here we go. Our ship does, sure does like to just stand there instead of departing right away. There are reports that the Fallen back at the Cosmodrome are keeping a pretty tight guard on the old Skywatch. Could be one of their leaders, or it could be something valuable. The speaker's asking Guardians to look into it. So another thing that I wanted to let you guys know is that uh, when I, after I obtained the third dead ghost in this chapter, I actually had to restart the, this mission because um, at the okay. end I forgot the to pick up the gold the loot. The so that's why you'll notice and a cut uh, a little bit fallen. later on. Well, I'm ready if you are. You might want to check uh, this cave out uh, in case you didn't pick up the loot in the previous mission. There will be some loot here uh, most of the time. So make sure you check it out. I'm just going to do a little detour because I there's a few things to pick up here. Uh, let me just get rid of that candle. They really aren't that tough. Um, but as I was saying, there are three dead ghosts to pick up in this mission, um, and also a gold gold loot chest uh, at the end of the mission after you take care of the wizard. And like I said, the first time that I played it, or actually the first time that I recorded, I forgot to pick up the gold loot chest. And I figured, I also figured that I could have uh, improved a little bit uh, when it came to handling the wizard. So I figured it wouldn't be a, you guys wouldn't mind that I replayed the wizard fight. So that's why, that's where you'll notice the guy. Let me just take care of these candles right here. Not that I need to because they're not uh, in the actual direction of our mission, but it doesn't hurt to dispose of them. There we go. There's one more. I sure do like that they just stick their heads out uh, like it's nothing. So here we are, let's pick up um, the split metal here and now we're going to move forward. Um, as you can see there's also a cave uh, right here I'm passing by it. but. I've, and there is some loot inside it, but I already collected, so if you do want to pick up some extra loot, go inside the cave and collect the loot. Apparently the, my enemy has respawned already, but that's okay. And now we're going to go and obtain the first dead ghost in this uh, mission, uh, but this would actually be dead ghost number 6. And it's right here by this old you know, dam. This place must have been amazing before the collapse. Thousands of humans boarding the colony ships, off to build cities beyond. So the dead ghost is a little bit hard to see, but it's in the middle of these bushes, uh, right here. So let's wake it up. Here it is. And now we're going to take care of the second dead ghost, but the second dead ghost is in a cave where there's a level 7 captain inside, so he might be a little bit tough for this segment, uh, depending on your level obviously, but if you're assuming this is the first time you're playing this mission, you probably won't be at a very Up high level. The However, 
That's um, the I'm confident that I can take him out. Let me just peek a little bit more. Here we go. And there's also a loot chest uh, that I haven't picked up in my first run of this uh, mission, where that I will pick up now. Um, and show you guys its location. That's why are you just standing there, sunshine? That was easy. Before I go and obtain the second. Did he drop some ammo? He did. Nice. So we'll move through here. Like I said, um, there is a loot. Some loot to pick up, so let's go get that. Uh, and the second collect, uh, the second dead ghost, or seventh dead ghost, if you are picking them in order, uh, is in the cave. Uh, on, there's a cave upstairs, and we're going to use that airplane wing to give a double jump, and that way we will be able to access the cavern. But like I said, there's a, a level seven captain inside, so use double jump. So you do need to be careful. I, I can just use my gunslinger to finish him off, but... Oh well. So a grenade takes care of the drag over there. And now we're just going to dispose of the captain. You know what, I might just use Gunslinger and finish him off, because it's not like he's part of the main mission anyway. And if with Gunslinger one shot should get the job then for sure. Oh, his shield's down. No, it's back up. You can use those side walls for cover, so you, it's not that hard, it's just that he is at a high level, so... You might spend a little bit of ammo here, trying to take him out. So yeah, I'm gonna finish him off with my guns. Too. There we go. If you don't have Gunslinger, don't worry. Uh, just keep shooting at him and eventually you will defeat him. And here is the other dead ghost. There's one more to pick up in this area, so we're gonna take care of that now. But first we're going to have to deal with another captain and a couple of vandals. Apparently there's another player here, but he seems to be doing his own thing, so I'll just keep doing mine. I'm just gonna jump down and use double jump to soften the fall. And now we're going to add up. But there are a few drags and another captain down here, you can see them over there. But that captain is a pretty high level, so I'm not going to take care of him right now. Just gonna dispose of the drags though, why not? I'm just gonna show you, he, his level is undetermined, so I imagine he's a pretty high level. And so I'm not gonna... Hello! Bye! Yeah, you're pretty high level, aren't you? So you can stay there, but we'll come back for him later on, for sure. But let's move on with the main story, uh, because that's what we're here for. Like I said, up this uh, ramp, there's going to be a captain and two vandals, but we'll dispose of them rather easily, since they're only level three. There we go, now all that we need to do is take care of the captain, I'm going to shoot at him and then I'm gonna, after his shield is down, I'm gonna try and melee him. Uh, why? Just because I feel like it, honestly. There's really no benefit to it. There we go. So the next area is going to be a little bit tough, especially on hard. I mean, it's not that tough. The enemies will just be, instead of being level 3, they'll be level 4. Uh, Apparently the other player is just doing his own thing, so again, I'm just gonna let him be. And we're going to move to the next area, where there will be the third uh, Dead Ghost collectible. And like I said, we will have to fight a wizard, who won't necessarily be easy, but 
is really not that tough either Correct. because, like I said, the this enemy is really silly most of the time. Stations, a link to the lunar colonies. So we're going to use our ghost to open this door, standing right in front of me. Dead end. Fallen sealed escape. I can get it open. So deploy our ghost and let him handle it. Um, our ghost is Peter Dinklage, but you know. The fallen really didn't want anybody getting in or out. And get ready to throw a grenade because in this area you're going to have to deal with a bunch of them. Uh, it's a little bit further on where I had to cut the episode. Lots of motion ahead. I've got a bad feeling about this. But that's because, like I said, I forgot to pick up the gold, the second gold loot chest. So we're going to move a little bit further ahead to trigger the appearance of our enemies. Like I said, just have a grenade in hand and you should be fine. Um, because they just run at you. But the thing about this uh, enemy is that they can poison you, so be careful. So don't let them get too close. Here they come, grenade. Take care of most of them. And then we'll just shoot the others down. Now we'll have to take care of a few acolytes. Uh, but again, they're very easy to deal with. Again, just foc focus your shots on their head. And a couple of shots will get the job done. There they are. They are level 4 as you can see. But it's nothing that you can... You have to worry about. I won't use my gunslinger uh, for this uh, for the wizard fight because chances um, actually most likely you won't have that ability the first time you play this mission. So I want to show you that you can take care of the wizard without uh, using it. Uh, plus one shot from it could kill the wizard, so we're not gonna do that. You silly acolytes. There we go. And that takes care of the first wave and now we're going to get the third. That goes, it's up in this uh, structure right here. So I'm going to use, a, well, not on the first try, man. I'm gonna use a double jump to get, jump over here and now jump over here. And here is the dead goes. And this is where you'll notice the cut uh, on the episode because, like I said, uh, I replayed this mission because I forgot to pick up the gold loot uh, the first time and obviously that just can't be There's done because here. then this wouldn't be a proper walkthrough. Okay, so again they're going to be coming a lot of these guys but another grenade gets the job done. Uh, one of them survived but that's okay. Like I said, you do need to be careful with them because even though they're not powerful at all, they can poison you. Now I'm going to dispose of the acolytes in this area. And the wizard will be in the, in the next room, so be careful with that. But for the most part, uh, it's easy to deal with, so you've got nothing to worry about. I can't get an angle on the guy, so I guess I have to move forward a little bit. Look at that guy. Just I can see your arm, sir. Excuse me. No. Nope. Yes. <laughs> it's funny how we, when you shoot close to them, they just pick their, they just decide to like look with their head, stick their head out, and they give you the perfect chance to just shoot them down. More of these things. Um, the wizard will spawn a few waves of them. So you need to be careful, but like I said, a few rounds and they're down. I just don't let them get close because they can poison you. There's another one, you're going down as well. There's another one. They're not even trying to hide, they're just coming straight, straight against me. It's kind of silly actually. So there's the wizard as you can see. Those multiple projects projectiles that he throws at you can deal heavy damage so 
if you get hit with that and a few shots of the um, acolytes you might die so you don't want that obviously oh it touched me he does seem to have some sort of shield but We'll take care of him in a moment. Once that shield drops, we can uh, hit a bunch of critical hits on him. I wanted to get the attack light, but he keeps hiding there. It's annoying. There he is. Really, if you stand in this area, it's actually really easy. But here comes the second wave. We will summon more minions. So again, nothing that a uh, little grenade can take care of. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is make a run inside, uh, well after I take care of these acolytes because I don't want to get pinned down by them, and after that uh, I'll take care of the leader. Like I said I could easily dispose of him using uh, my special ability but I don't want to do that because like I said most likely the first time you're playing this mission you won't have it unless you grind it on the other levels. And so I want to take care of him without using it. It just seems right. Oh, there you are. It's another pretty good area to take cover from. Uh, like I said, it's foolish to run up close to the wizard and try and take him head on. But in here you'll find a pretty good cover spot. So These guys keep just peeking out. It's ridiculous. They just make it so easy to hit them. Where are you going, Sunshine? Ooh, a trophy, nice. So, only the wizard is left at this point. Let's see if I can hit him in the his helmet. He still got a barrier up, so... It will be a little bit harder. But I'm not concerned at all. It's just a matter of patience. Well, there's his head. Stand still. It is actually a, a good strategy to, while he's powering up his attack, to just shoot at, me, at him because as you see, uh, it takes him a while to power up um, his projectiles before he launches them, so he's really not that troublesome. Okay, I guess I have to go out on over here. He's pretty much gone at this point. His defenses are down. So yeah, while he's charging up his attack, it's the best time to get a few hits in. Uh, but as you can see, once his defenses are down, he's actually really easy. A few more shots are going to do in me. There we go. Now this is very important. This is why I messed up the first time that I played. The second gold chest, you need to do it this fairly fast because you need to jump up these uh, crates right here and the gold chest is in the roof of this structure. So let's jump and we're going to go through here and there is the gold loot chest. Pick it up fast because if you don't pick it up before the mission ends then you will have to come back here and pick it up again and do this process over. And we gain a new weapon, nice. 
and we get the throwing knife upgrade which is going to come in handy for sure um, now what I'm going to do uh, and I just want to show you this because since this is a walkthrough and I'm not saying obviously you're free to, free to upgrade your weapons and armor as as you wish but um, it's a good idea to to keep checking upon it and this is my like I said my upgrade so I'm going to uh, uh, activate the throwing knife there we go uh, and now what I'm going to do is dismantle off the armor helmet uh, helmets boots um, everything that uh, I'm not going to be using anymore I'm going to dismantle them so that I can get some revenue from it um, and then what I'm going to do is travel to the tower um, and because after you complete this third mission your vanguard uh, mentor will have some new items for you uh, but to be fair I don't really need anything that he has to offer but I'll still go and do that just you know to be on the just to show you guys that you should go there so like I you see myself doing this pose of any uh, armor piece of armor that you're not going to be using anymore um, my garden is looking a little bit uh, more fashionable so that's good and really that's uh, going to be the end of this episode but like I said I just wanna go to the tower uh, and take care of that Uh, that's enough so towards the tower I'm going to cut the animation of the ship flying there because it just takes so long <laughs> so we're gonna head to the tower so you'll notice a little cut here and we will go and talk with um, with our mentor at this point strike missions and um, Destinations patrol, destinations patrol are available, but I'm going to stick with the main uh, campaign for now, and I'll do those side missions after I finish the main campaign. So, um, really, that's going to do it for this episode, my friends. As always, thank you so much for watching. Remember, uh, there's a giveaway going on uh, after I finish the main campaign of the story. I'm going to select uh, a person at random who commented on my destiny videos uh, to award a $70 gift card. Thank you so much for the support you've been showing towards this series. Um, and um, I guess I'll see you all later. Take care, my friend. Yeah, it looks cheap. It's not.